Hello, class. Hello. Hi. Can you see me? Hello. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Pretty good, teacher. Very, very good. Right. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, how how are you on this rainy day? Well, I don't know. Is it raining where you are? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it's raining. Yeah, it's raining where I am, but it's it's not raining hard. It's just a little bit. Yeah. And so, is it raining where you are? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher, it's raining. Yes. Mm, okay. Okay. So most people. Hey, Karina, Marlene, is it also raining where you are? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Okay. So everybody. Everybody has a rainy, a rainy Friday. Hopefully it's not going to be raining on the weekend so that we can enjoy the weekend, go out. You guys have any plans for the weekend? Yes, I have teacher. Yeah, what do you plan to do? Uh, I, I have to go to participate in, in a room in, in, a, in a marathon oh oh that's interesting you're gonna be in a marathon yes teacher wow excellent good for you yeah it do is what what how many kilometers the, is the marathon 30 kilometers. 30. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a long that, that's a long marathon. <laughs> the 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 longest marathon I have done is 10 kilometers. I don't think I can I can do 30. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How, how, you, how, you can if you're you're in training. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Anything is possible if you train. Yeah. How long does it take you to do 30 kilometers? Um, the, the, the beginning of Italia. Sorry? The, the event. The, the marathon begin or start in Atikisaya. Okay. But but how long? No, like I mean, I mean how, how when I say how long I'm talking about time. Oh. Uh, maybe five five hours. Five hours? Maybe. Maybe four. It depends on the the condition of the the wood. Okay. Wow, five hours. Uh, yeah, that's long. So like all, all morning. Uh, I think the the, the the marathon start at six six a.m. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, and it's it's better to do it early morning so that it's not so hot, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. That's, that's the idea. Okay, good, good. So hot. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's it's quite hot. Um. Okay. All right, guys. Hello. Good to see everybody else. How are you guys? Pretty good? Yes, no? How are you guys? Pretty good. Yeah? Okay, good. Oh, well, I'm glad to see 
see your faces. Uh, I'm glad to see, um, yeah, the majority of your faces. Well, but actually, to be honest, I can't see everybody because uh, not everybody has turned on their my their um, camera. So maybe if you guys can do that for me, I'd really really appreciate that. Can you guys open up your mic your cameras so we can see you? See those beautiful faces of yours. Okay. Ya casi, casi tengo todos. All right. Okay. Let's take attendance. Uh, Cristina? No? Okay. Um, Ani? Present teacher. Good, excellent. Mari? Mari? Okay. Uh, Carolina? Hmm, so Carolina, okay. All right. Um, Chris, Christy? Present. Okay, very good. Welcome. Jorge? Present, teacher. All right, very good. Um, welcome. Karen? Karen? Not here, Karen, okay. Karina? Present. Okay, very good. Welcome, Karina. Leonardo? Present, teacher. Very good. Welcome, Leonardo. Eh, Linda? Linda? Eh, Marlene? Present. All right, welcome, Marlene. Miguel? Miguel? Okay. Um, Nelson? I hear Miss. Okay, very good, Nelson. Thank you. Welcome. And Nelson A? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Nelson. And Norma? Norma? No? Um, Olga? Olga? No? Omar? Present. Okay, welcome, Omar. Suleima Rodriguez? Present. All right, welcome Suleima. And um, Suleima Melgar? And, uh, and Tatiana? Present teacher. Okay, welcome Tatiana. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to name i'm going to mention again the names of the people that i didn't hear just to make sure that i have everybody um that i haven't missed anybody um okay so we have uh i didn't hear cristina mari carolina karen Linda, Miguel, Norma, Olga, and Sulema Melgar. Present teacher. Me Present. Oh, Olga. Olga. Okay, welcome, Olga. Bye. I see. I didn't miss anybody else, right? No? Okay. All right, let's start right away with our class. Um, tell me, please, if you can see my, or better said, when you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So today we're going to be talking about safety measure and manual conversation. Um, oops, sorry. Your 
facilitators, Jessica Guerrero, that's intermediate two, it's class number 23. Okay, so let's start, let's start with uh, this conversation here. First of all, I have a question here. Are manufacturing plants dangerous places to work? What do you think? Yes, teacher. Yes? Why? Why do you think so? Well, maybe because there are chemicals. Chemicals? Or, chemicals? Chemicals. Mm -hmm. Or or all other kind of uh, substance. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Yes, absolutely. I agree. Okay. Yes, Jorge? Yes. Just that, teacher. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Um, Okay, good. What about the others? What do you think? Do you think it's a, a manufacturing plant? Is a uh, dangerous place to work? In some case, yes. Yes? Why? Why, Olga? Yes. Yeah. Because the employees, um, we we have uh, um, manipular machine. Okay, to manipulate machines, yes. Yes. Okay, very good. What else? What about, what about the rest of you guys? What do you think? Is it is it a dangerous place to work? Anybody considers that it's not a dangerous place to work? Not at all, teacher. It depends of the, the area in which there are uh, hazards, maybe. Mm, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? What do you guys think? Is anybody sure, think that? I think, yeah. Teacher, I think the, the uh, manu manufacturing plants are dangerous because all because all plants have a uh, uh, equipment to protect about about whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, in case that uh, that. I, 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 I stay in a plant that harness. And harness is a manufacturing to clothes in El Salvador. Uh, and they are, or they have uh, some protocols to, to enter uh, our manufacturer to see, or because, uh, I went to install some equipment. It's complicated to it's it's complicated to to enter if you don't si no eres parte you don't you are not part you are not part of your uh, company. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, all right. Next question. Would a safety program prevent accidents? Do you think so? Would a safety program prevent accidents? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Everybody says yes? Yes. Okay. What types of rules do you think a safety plan has? I think just yes, okay. Okay, good. So, what kind of rules do you think that a safety plan has? The company use equipment. equipment the that company is necessary to to. Put.
Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh -huh. For example, when in some places uh, you can't use the cell phone, for example, uh, because maybe that can, uh, for an accident, uh, you can use the cell phone that is a rule, for example. Okay, okay, very good. Excellent, excellent, okay, good. Any other? Teacher. Uh-huh. The company have to have a, a clinica empresarial uh, for the employees when, how, when they have an accident. Okay. Okay, very good. Good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. What else? Okay, so to have like a like a nur uh, a nursing station, right, or nurse's office. Uh huh. Not using the cell phones. What else? Anything else? I I think each company has the 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 own okay okay sounds good all right excellent okay so what i'm gonna do then is now that we've had a chance to talk about this let's read this conversation between the employees at a manufacturing plant they're talk they are talking about the new company's safety measure plan Okay, so this time I will um, I, I will go over the, the pronunciation. So you can turn off your microphone, everybody, make sure that it's closed so you can practice only by yourself at home. Here we go. G, I have my safety goggles. No, 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 sorry. Have my safety goggles been stolen? I don't see them anywhere. Your goggles have been taken away. They are new safety measures in the plant. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, Store tools in proper location. So my goggles and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes. The new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scattered tools outside the tool room. Okay, all right. We're gonna do things a little bit different now. Um, Instead of going and practicing the conversation, I'm going to get you to ask me questions about the, the meaning of vocabulary first, okay? So you can write in the chat the words that you don't understand what they mean.
Is that it? Is that it? That's it. Okay. All right. Let's talk. Let's talk about this. Um, so the first one, safety goggles. You understand what goggles are? No? Goggles are okay. Um they're for your eyes, like um, um to prevent yeah, their protection for the eyes, okay. For swimming. Hmm? Uh, yeah, for you can use them like there are goggles for swimming, those are swimming goggles. So basically, goggles are anything that goes in front of your of your eyes that are there to protect your eyes. Okay. Um, and safety goggles means that um they're there to um, give you safety, right? So that nothing goes into your eye. Okay, that's the safety goggle. Stolen is the past participle of steal. So um, it basically, like, it basically means that somebody stole the, my safety goggles. That's what they're saying. Somebody stole it. Then we have measures. Measures are um, plans that that are put into place so that we can protect ourselves, right? Or so, like during COVID, there were many safety measures um, so that we would not get um, sick, right? Uh, for example, social distancing was a safety measure. Right. Uh, washing our hands, another safety measure. Um, using the mask is another safety measure. Okay. So, do you understand measures? Yes, teacher. How do you say measures in Spanish? Medidas. Exactly. Medidas. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, then we have protection belt. Protection belt is um, just like when you put like a belt on your, on your, in your pants, right? To um, not let the pants go down. Protective belts are there to support your, your body so that you do not fall, okay? That's a protective belt. And so, um, who works in her in height. Yeah, exactly. People that work in heights use protective belts. So they, they put like a belt around their 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 stomach, let's say, so that they if they fall, if they let go, they don't completely fall and 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 kill themselves. Instead they can be suspended in the air, but they still are alive. Yeah? So because something is grabbing them. Okay. okay. Do we understand with that? Protect the belt. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do helmet. Helmet is something you use to protect your head. Like when you go on a motorcycle or uh, or you're riding a bike or, a, or on a skateboard, you wear a helmet to protect your head. Okay. Or in a construction site, you use a helmet. Okay? Yes. Yeah, we understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Rubber. 
Rubber is a material. The material is like, um, like the material of uh, tires for cars, that material, okay? Or the material of um, the elastic bands, that material mm -hmm. is also a rubber or the material for erasers. You know, when you are erasing a pencil, that, that material is rubber. So it's very, you can move it. What is but rubber? There, there, are, there are boots that have steel in the... That's in the, steel toes, the steel toe boots. The steel toes? Yeah, steel toe boots. Oh, okay. Steel toe. I'm going to write in the chat. Steel toe boots. Oh, hold on. There you go. Steel toe boots. All right. So they, the boot in, in front of the boot, they have a part that is made of steel so that you don't. Uh, so if something falls on your feet, you don't. Uh, or at least on your on your on your toes, they don't get cut off, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, but the rubber it, rubber boots are used like for example when it's raining, people use rubber boots so that they don't um, so that they don't get their feet wet. Okay. Okay. What are what are what is rubber? Is something like plastic? Coma or como caucho. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Is the article, is the article uh, like a uh, flexible? Like a what? Flexible. This. Flexible. Oh, yes, it's very flexible. You're absolutely right. It's flexible. Mm -hmm. um, okay, very good. Um, okay, prohibit. Uh, prohibit means to forbid saying you can't do that. It's like very similar to Spanish, pretty much the same word in Spanish. Okay, so you say- Exactly, yeah, okay. To prohibit is to forbid, to say you can't do something, okay? Okay. And scattered, scattered means that they are put in different places, not together, but one here, another one here, another one there, another one here, scattered. So all over the place. Okay. In Spanish, how do you say scattered? Desorden. It, it's an adjective. Como, como regados o algo así. Yeah. Regado. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Any questions so far? No? No. Okay. All right. So now that you know the meaning of the words, um, let's let's start practicing. Okay, I'm going to put you into groups. I'd like you to practice this conversation, but not only practice it, I want you to also answer the questions, these questions. What items is Joe looking for? 
What is the new safety measure about? And in your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the production plant? Okay, so what if the first time you were jo um, Joel, the second time you're gonna be Diego and so on, okay? So I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna put you into uh, chat rooms. Excuse me, teacher, could you please put the presentation to take a screen? A screenshot. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, Okay. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Let's open up the rooms. Everybody understands what we're doing, right? Yes? Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, Cristina, Linda. Cristina and Linda. Cristina, Linda. Now, I'm Joel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Gee, how am I safe to Google? No, come on. Yes. No, Google. Mm, Google, algo así. Google. Gee, how am I safe to Google being stolen? I don't see them anywhere. You Google have been taken away. There are new safety measures in the plan. You've got to be kidding. What are those measures about? You are required to wear ear protection, gloves, reflective vest, protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, ear proof, store tools in proper location. So my youth and the other tools I left around here have been taken away. Yes, the new safety plan has been designed to prohibit scary tools outside the tool room. Okay. Finish. If you can answer the discuss the following question no yes um, yes okay what item is joey looking for um, he said 
Uh -huh. His school borders. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Yes. His school borders. Um, okay, number two. What is the new safety measure about? New safety tour. Mm. Uh, required clothes reflective best protection belt. Helmet, jacket, rubber, bottle, clothes, store. Uh -huh. You creo que eso es. Ajá, yo digo que sí. Um, yo había escrito de new safety measures will have employees where location. Ah, okay. Porque dice cuáles son las nuevas medidas de seguridad. O, oh, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Porque uh -huh. okay, la otra sería como la de. O. Oh, Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, son medidas de seguridad. O ponemos la de. We can require to wear e protection, glow, reflection, breath, la 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 la. Uh -huh. Ok. Number three. Okay, number three. In your opinion. Why shall tools not be scarring in the plate and plane? Why should? Por qué no deberían estar regadas? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so. Because Dispersas, eh, ajá, o regadas. Ajá, because. Eh, because the way we. About, a, about uh, accidents. About yes, accidents. Accident. A boy is a is evitar. A boy. A boy, uh -huh. because that way we avoid accidents. Mm -hmm. Chere to wear to wear hair hair protection uh -huh. protection protection gloves gloves uy 
Blow. Blow. Mm -hmm. Reflect. Reflect you. Reflect you. Reflect best. Eso es un poquito grande, ¿verdad? Protection Bell. Está escribiendo todo lo de... Okay. Sí. Ah, ok. Pero veo que es grande lo... Sí, eh, está un poquito larga la respuesta. Ajá, protección de... Ya lo escribió. Ya me he quedado. Eh, no, no lo he escrito. Bueno, ya lo voy a dejar así porque no vaya a ser. Pero sé que esto vaya y ahí después la tercera dice... In your opinion. Ah, in your opinion. What should, should, should not be sculpture in the production plan? Oh. Ajá, que por qué no tendrían que dejarse las herramientas así como regadas. Ajá. Eso. Because... Pero pide como una opinión, ¿verdad? Ajá. Eh, opinión, es... dice. Ajá, in your opinion. For me, because that, eh, that it can be a reason for an accident. Eh, somebody... Oh. Somebody uh, fell at the floor and, and, and I don't know, se golpea la cabeza o qué sé yo, se desliza. Algo así, pienso yo. Algún accidente. Uh -huh, para algún accidente. Para algún accidente. Se quedaría. A ver. El que había, perdón. En mi opinión, dice. En mi Yes, teacher. Casi, casi. Bueno, este, yo le puse en mayor opinión, the tool should be in the, in the correct place to prevent an, an accident. Mm, está bien. Uh, because it's part of the the or responsibility uh, have everything in in order okay I think Sí, 
se enoja incluso tratando de que mantenga la convertida yo de Phoenix no está en una situación para perder a otros jugadores y eso ya le pasó antes pero es un notorio que había ¿no? No sé qué, el árbitro está en primera fila, lo, lo veo perfectamente, así que va a tomar la fila. Okay, guys, let's check the answers. Okay, so what items is Joel looking for? He's looking for safety Googles. Googles or goggles? Goggles. Yes, very good, exactly. Yes, safety goggles. Yes, safety goggles. Just remember, don't confuse those words. It's not Google, right? It's not like Google. It's goggles, goggles. Google oh, has two O's, but this one has two G's. So it's goggles. Oh, mm -hmm. Good. Okay. What is the new safety measure about? Uh, to wear air protection, gloves, reflective vest. Protection belt, helmet, jacket, rubber boots, earplugs, store tools in proper location. Very good. Okay. And in your opinion, why should tools not be scattered in the production plant? The answer is not going to be there because this is in your opinion. So, what do you guys think? Why do you think it's in, not a good idea? In my opinion, teacher, is to avoid some people could be fell down. Uh -huh. Take okay. some damage, maybe. Right. Okay. Very good. What else? Any other ideas? Yes, because it's part of all responsibility to leave all our tools in order. Uh huh. Okay. Very good. Okay. So it's part of being responsible. Mm -hmm. What else? Teacher, I think uh, these they can provocate an accident. They can provoke. They can provoke, provoke an accident. Yes. Uh huh. Absolutely. What else? Anything else? No? Okay, all right, good. So what we're gonna do now, now that we've um, been able to do that, clear up and we're gonna move on to the next part, which is Passive voice with the present perfect tense. We're going to be learning a new structure today. Okay. So the passive voice with the present perfect tense. All right. So let's talk about what is the passive voice. Okay. Let's start. Let's start talking about that. The first thing is that the passive voice is used to emphasize the sentences. Uh, sorry, the emphasis, the emphasis of the sentence um, of, is on the action and not on the subject. What does that mean? Basically, it's saying, I don't care who did the action. I care what the action is. That's what this means. 
Okay, so when we really don't care who does it, it's not important who does the action, it's important more the action itself, then we use the passive voice because the passive voice gives emphasis on the action, not the person who does the action. Does that make sense? Yes, no? Not so much. Not so much. Not so much. Um, okay, but let me, let me. Okay, let me give you an example. Um, if I say to you, my house was built in 1980. My house was built in 1980. Do you know who built my house? Do you know who constructed my house? No. 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 Do I, is it important to know who constructed my house? Is that important? No. No, it's not important. We don't know, we don't care, it's not important. What's more important is the action of building the house in 1980. Okay. Okay? Does that make sense okay. for you? Yes. Yeah? Okay, so the, now that makes sense. Now, now, now it's clear uh, what I mean by this. Teacher, I think it, it's that make that makes sense. But when we can use the passive voice, so in every a conversation, time. regular conversation, or or not. Yes. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop sharing something. I'm gonna stop sharing for a moment. Um, it's like to be more polite or something like that. No. 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 Mm. Just give me a moment. I will see if I can find something. I have an exact detail of why, why we use it, but I'm just gonna see if I can find it. Just be patient with me and I'll see if I can find it for you. Hmm. 
No, I can't seem to find it. But basically, um, I'm going to write, there, there are eight reasons in total, but I'm going to write um, in the chat, I'll write it in the chat so it's easier for you to see. Um, it, I'll write in the chat the reasons why uh, we would normally use the, the passive voice. One is, when we don't know who did the action, okay? If you don't know who did the action, you can't say fulanito did the action, right? To give an example, um, you make a cake mm -hmm. or you, or, or maybe you're gonna make, a, you, you bring a cake yeah. home from, uh, from the, from the store, and that cake is for the party, and then you leave it on the uh, on the table, and you leave the table, and you come back. You live with a big you live in a bit with a big family, okay? You live there are lots of people in your family, and when you come back, there is a piece of the cake that is missing. Who ate the cake? ¿Quién se comió el pastel? The cat. ¿Ah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cat. The cat, maybe. Maybe. But you didn't see the cat. And there's and 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 actually there's a little piece, like they, they cut the piece. So who who ate it? And you I live with lots know. of people in the family. Who ate it? It's impossible to know who. Exactly, it. impossible. Yeah. So you would say something like, eh, the cake was eaten. Or like in say, they say in Spanish, se comieron el pastel. ¿Y quién? ¿Quién se comió? We don't know. That's not important. It's not important to know who ate the cake. What's important is the, the fact that the, that the action of eating the cake, that's important. Okay? So okay. we sometimes we do it when we don't know who did the action, okay? Sometimes we say it because um, the doer, of the action is obvious. The doer of the action is obvious. The doer is el hacedor, right? So the, the doer of the action is obvious. If I say to you, um, I don't know, Sandra, was arrested. Sandra was arrested. Who arrested Sandra? Maybe. No. The what do you think? What do you guys think? No. Who do you think arrested Sandra? I don't know. Marlene, are you there? Marlene? Mr. Marlene. Okay. Hello, teacher. Oh, hello. Hello, Marlene. Okay, so if I say to you, Sandra was arrested. Who arrested Sandra? I don't know, teacher. Okay, uh, but think about it. Sandra was arrested. Piense, ¿quién la arrestó? 
the police. The police. Exactly. Only the police can arrest, right? Nadie más puede arrestar. Un profesor no puede arrestar. ¿Verdad? Un soldier. Un doctor tampoco. Ni siquiera el juez puede arrestar. Puede mandar a arrestar, pero no puede arrestarlo. The only people that can arrest are the police. So the doer of the action is obvious. You don't need to say the police arrested Marie, Israel, Sandra. You just have to say Sandra was arrested. It's just like in Spanish, in, in Spanish, normalmente uno dice arrestaron a Sandra. Uno dice la policía arrestó a Sandra. Solamente arrestaron a Sandra. No sabemos quién, no nos importa porque ya sabemos quién es. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes, another reason, another reason why we use it is uh, when the action is more important than who then the doer. When the action is more important than the doer. Okay? El hacedor, right? It's more important. So, in otras palabras, if I, for example, I, I send my computer, I send my computer be, um, to be fixed. So, because my computer doesn't work, so I send it um, and um, they, they fix my computer. And I say, my computer, my computer was fixed. Who fixed the computer? Repeat, please. Okay, my computer does not work. I send it to, um, to the workshop to be fixed, right? Because they need to fix my computer. And then one week later, they give it back to me and it works perfectly. Who fixed my computer? Uh, the computer workshop. Right. And who is that person that did it? Do I need to know? The technician. Mm -hmm. The technician, but do we need to know who it is? No. 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 It can be Juan or it can be Juana. It doesn't matter. Right, so I say that, com or my computer was fixed. Right? Mi, mi computadora fue arreglada. ¿Quién la arregló? We don't know, we don't care. It's not important. What, lo más importante es que arreglaron la computadora. La acción de arreglar es lo más importante. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so those are some reasons why we use the pass the passive voice. Those are only a few reasons. There are more, but I'm only going to talk about those ones. Does that make sense for you? Tiene sentido no mucho. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm going to stop right now because I want to, I need to take the attendance. Okay. And we're going to continue in a moment. Okay, we're going to start with Christina. Christina, no, Christina? Okay. Um, Ani. Present teacher. <clears throat> okay, very good. Um, eh, Mari. Present. Um, Carol. Um, espera un momentito que estoy en el lugar equivocado. Uh, 
Okay. Um, Mari está, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Carolina. Yes, no, right. Christy. Christy. No. Eh, Jorge. Present. Good. Karen. Present. All right. Okay. Welcome. Uh, Karina. Present. Great. Uh, Le Leonardo. Present, teacher. Great. Linda. Present, teacher. Great. Welcome. And Marlene. Present. Miguel. Present. Great. Welcome. Uh, Nelson. Present. Okay, good. Nelson A. Present the chair. Okay, great. Norma. Norma. Present the chair. Present the chair. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Olga. Olga. Present the chair. Present. Welcome, Olga. Omar. Present. Great. Suleima Rodriguez. Present. Okay, very good. Um, Suleima Melgar. Suleima Melgar. Y Tatiana. Present teacher. Okay, very good. So I didn't hear Carolina and Suleima Melgar. Okay, those are the people. Okay, good. Okay, so let's go back and look at this. Now that you have a better understanding of what is the passive voice, let's look at, let's, let's um, compare some sentences. So we have, your goggles have been taken away. The other one is they have taken away your goggles, sorry, they have taken your goggles away. Okay, so in sentence 1A, the person who took it away of the goggles is not important, okay? If you notice, here, this one, what is the subject? What is the subject? And number one, one A, what is the subject? Uh, Google, your Google, Google. Goggles, very good, your goggles. Google's. Not Google's, remember, goggles. Okay, so your goggles is a subject. Did the goggles do the action? No, right? No. The goggles received the action. So who did the action? We don't know, it's not important. Mm -hmm. Okay, the fact that they were taken away is instead emphasized. So what we are emphasizing is the action, the action of taken away. This is what we emphasize. Okay. Now in this one, what is the subject? And this one right here, what is the subject? They. Okay. they. So do we know who did the action? No. Yeah, we do. They. 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 Right? They right? The action is take away your God. So take away. I've taken. Sorry. Okay, that's what's important, right? The, the action of taking, a, sorry, 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 no, that's the action. What's important here is the subject, okay? 
All right, now look at this one. Let's, now we're looking at questions. Have my safety goggles been stolen? Let's contrast it with, have they stolen my safety goggles? In this one, we are emphasizing the subject. What is the subject? The goggles. Mm -hmm. The safety goggles, my safety goggles. Right? And we're focusing on what happened to my safety goggles. But over here, what's the subject? They, right? Have they stolen my safety goggles? The focus is they. So we're focusing on what they did. Here we're focusing on what happened to my safety goggles. Here we're focusing on what, what happened to them. Okay? So just something to understand is that with when we're talking about statements, the order that we're going to be talking, the order of the of the structure, let's say, is first goes to the object. Then we always used have or has been have or has been when we're talking about the present perfect passive and after that comes the verb in the past participle form Okay, the object, however, has been in the past participle form. That is the structure we're going to be using in statements. But if you're ask, if you're going to be asking a question, this is the one you're going to be using. Okay, and in this case, we always start with however has. And after that comes the object. Okay. Then comes the bin. And finally, we use the verb in the past participle form. Don't forget, it has to be the past participle form. That is why you need to learn the past participle. If you don't know the past participle, now is a very good time to learn it. Okay. All right. And some examples of this is they have cleaned the attic. That's active, right? But so the focus on is what they did. What did they do? They cleaned the, the, the clinic. The password would be the clinic cleaned by them. We can always use the word by when you are introducing who did the action. Okay, so always remember that, that we can use the word by to introduce who did the action. Okay, so by putting the action, the sorry, who, by putting the subject um, at the end, um, it makes it no longer important. Thomas has written many books. Here, the focus is on what Thomas did. Many books have been written by Thomas. So here we're focusing on what, what happened to the books, okay? And again, we're using the word by. Now, these are questions. Have the police caught the man? That is, we're focusing on what the police did. But here is, has the man been caught by the police? We're focusing on what happened to, to the man. Okay, so that's what our focus is on here. What happened to the man, I'm sorry. And of course, we always use the word by. Over here, 
Ops has delivered the letters. Here we're focused on, on what, what Ops did or UPS, right? We're focusing on that. And here we're focused on, on what happened to the letters. The letters have been delivered by U UPS. So again, we're using the word by. Okay. Do you think we can try this? You think we can try it? Yes or no? We can try it, teacher. Good, excellent. I like that 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 attitude. Are we ready to try it? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna put you into groups, small groups. Okay. Um, and I'm going to give you. Oh, wait a second. I'm sorry. I forgot to show you what we're doing. What were the activities? The activities are is this one right here. So it says complete the following sentence and questions in the passive voice. Choose the appropriate, appropriate verb and compare the answers with the partner. So we're not comparing, actually, we're going to be doing it um, in groups. So you're going to have to choose which of these verbs is the correct one to use. And then we're going to put this, the verb in the past participle, right, um, to, to be used in the passive voice. Okay. Are we clear on what we're doing? Yes, teacher. Okay. Great. Let's uh, let's go into your rooms. Um, Repeat, please, teacher. So you are completing the sentences with one of these verbs in the passive voice. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, um, let's give you guys 10 minutes, okay? And let's open the rooms right now. Pues el eco. Ah, vaya, al dos por uno lo pueden hacer. Vaya, quiero ver. Ah, ¿dónde está? Vaya, la primera. Complete the following sentences and question in the classes boy. Choose the appropriate verbs and comparison in the part. Three, three new safe inventories. Mm. Tres nuevas medidas de seguridad. Two new safe inventories. Innovate. Or create. Mm. Pero pide tres. Sería make, pueda hacer. Ah, uh, sí. Mm. Quiero ver las We. Mm. Green music. Be sure. 
have been great. Great. Okay. Entonces la primera dejemos make. Okay. Para el momento. Podría ser presentador o la otra opción es que salga, no. puedan como retomar de esto. No, no, no. Open. We. Lo que le digo a Dula es que estaba leyendo que, por ejemplo, we give Nick Airflow. Que es una de las, de, de, de las causas que ah, de, de, tenemos que, que ponerlos en. en Make sure you have been made. Have made. And the last second, we given. Pero no tendríamos que agregar el have, el has y el been. También. Sí, sí. Va porque sería three new safe thing matrix is a subject. De ahí va has been made. Or, sí, ¿verdad? Yo creo que has. Three new saves in mentory. Has been made. Ah, uh, oh. um, no. I don't know if have or has. We <laughs> has el utilizan solo por por terceras personas o Sí. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Y si it sería have. Ajá. Entonces la segunda queda we we have have been given new airplanes. The new safety course in our life state. They have been innovated. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. How? Have been innovate. Uh -huh. Pero con de al final. Sí, va. Okay. Creo que sí, es con de al final. Sí. No. Ah, sí, 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 sí. <risa> es que me lo estaba viendo en present party school. Y Pero sí. 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 Ok. Me dio skill to birds. Me dio skill to birds. No la tenés en serio. Sí. Para mí, ¿cómo? Sí. 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 Need the news still to. ¿Y cuál es el object? ¿Dónde? El object. Entonces, hay bien. Trinium. Porque después lo sabíamos, pero no. Ah, y le dice object más bien. ¿Y el object cuál sería? Teacher. Teacher. Ay. <laughs> Ay. <laughs> ya la asustó. Sí. 
teacher. Um, it's a question. We use, we use uh, formula. No sé cómo se dice formula. How do you say formula? Formula. Formula. Passive voice statement or passive voice question. It depends. No, no, no. Uh, uh, sorry, yes. Uh, for, for example, number okay, one, one, three. Four, you have to use. Uh -huh. Three new safety measures have been created. No. Ah. Uh -huh. Use okay. use formal use formal passive voice statements. Yes, and number five and six is air questions, so you're gonna have to use. Uh -huh. Yes, five, five and uh and and six. Yes. Is mm -hmm. question. Yeah. Ah, okay. Exactly. Thank you. You're welcome. Vamos bien, vamos bien. Okay. What, what, what you, number teacher. are you on? Monday? What number are you doing? Number. What number? No, understand. What number are you doing? Number one, two, three, four, five, six? Uh, two. Two. La, so, solo han hecho una. Yes. Es que no había, yes. o sea, es que yo les había dicho que yo lo que había entendido es que teníamos que usar las dos fórmulas, si era una eh, oración o si era una pregunta. Pero como ellos tenían dudas y yo ya había hecho la primera, bueno, ya hice las primeras cuatro, pero tenía dudas, por eso le preguntábamos. Ah, okay. si, para ver si íbamos bien en ese camino, o sea, okay. si estaba bien. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. okay. Uh, number one. So yeah, number one. Have been. Have been. Crear. O sea, crear. Sí. Si, ya en el verbo. Sí. Si, ajá. Crear, pero en. ¿En cómo se llama? Pasado, pasado. participo. Pasado, uh -huh. participo. Crear. Crear. No, se escribe create. Está con td. Ed. Ed. Number two, we have been made new ear flow. Have been? Have been made. Made. Como de hacer. Made, o sea, como de hacer, pero como es... Um, Pasado. Pasado. Make sería como el presente, ¿verdad? O sea, make. Ajá. Ma, ajá. Y ya en pasado. Pero el pasado es made. M-A-D. E. -A -D -E. M made. Ajá. Made. 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 Se escribe made. Made. Ajá, made. We have been made new ear flow. New. Así como tiene el manual. Solo sí, tenemos sí. how been made. made. Uh -huh. O sea, lo que tendríamos how que agregar be. es how been made. made. How been made. Ah, ok, entiendo. Ya ni es el plan, ya está ahí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Number three, the new safari Google have a nice day. Aquí también sería igual, how, pero de ahí, uh -huh. ver. Nelson. Antes de, a lo mejor dicho, después de nice, es el punto y coma. O sea, que ahí termina y comienza la programación. Ah, ok. Entonces, they, sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. Entonces, object they have. is day. Uh -huh. Plus how, how been. Uh, no sé si se escribe nice. Se pronuncia nice. Has uh, been. Uh, 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 um, quiero ver. Las tres nuevas. Las tres. Pero ahí sí no sé si estoy bien. Eh, ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Porque sería. They have been. Y usaríamos el, el pasado. El de, no, de nice. De nice. Si ven la, la primera parte pues, de la oración. Ajá. The nice. 
Porque nice es bonito. Bonito. Y le agregamos la D, es agradable. Pero esa no la tenemos arriba. Ajá, por eso es que decía yo que no, pero en la oración está. O podemos, eh, en lugar de esa podemos poner otra, aunque no esté en la oración. Porque mm. todas las oraciones veo que tienen el verbo. Tienen el verbo, ajá. Y esta y en español que nos dice ahí el nuevo Safari que es seguridad. Los otros son los nuevos como gafas o lentes de seguridad. Son uh -huh. bonitos o algo así. Okay. Y ellos. Innovation, Ajá, podríamos Hi. poner. Hello. Hello, teacher. Ya, yeah, no, hola, cabrón. Ya. <laughs> Finish. You are finished everything? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Okay, great. I'll see you in a moment then. Okay, teacher. Es que quiero ver. We you should no. No, 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 no. Pero es que quiero ver cómo pregunta. Podría ser. Uh, how we been used the new helmet? Usando la estructura. Bueno, como ahí hay que buscar primero have been y luego el verbo, ¿verdad? Have been have been used the new safety officer y luego quiero ver Ahí va otro verbo, o cómo. Ah, en las cinco. Ajá. Ah, perdón. pero quedaría como como have has been o have been Ajá. Pero has been, ¿verdad? Has been used, used, issued, issued the new safety officer. No. Pero, ¿O cómo queda? Uh, yo opino que es has the new safety, safety officer been yes. 
Y should. Tiene razón. Sí, tiene razón. Have the new safety officer been used? Uh -huh. Issued. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, es cierto, tiene razón. Porque aquí hay una que va así. La vale, estoy viendo también. <risa> La otra sería como más o menos así, parecida también. Ajá. Uh -huh. How we been? Train the new the new home. ¿Cómo quedaría, ¿Cómo quedaría esa? Me dijo. Un safety. No, creo que estamos poniendo mal los. En la última, ¿verdad? Ajá, creo que en la última es useful y en la cinco es train. De entrenamiento. Entonces, sería has. Sería, ha sido entrenado en algo eh, oficial. Algo así. Has trained. No. Has the new, the new safety officer been trained. 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 Así, ¿verdad? You guys ready? Almost. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, are you guys finished? Uh, I have a question. What is the past participle of train? Sorry? What is the past participle of train? A train? Yeah. Um, Okay, train is a ver it's a regular verb, so it's the same as the simple. Regular. It's regular. Ah, yeah. okay. Okay, thank you. And, and issue, teach. It's also a regular verb. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. You guys almost finished? I think yes. Yeah? 
Yeah. Okay. My the point. But this is not only when it's a, a question. Always in the passive by Thomas, by them, by UPS. Mm, by the police. By the police could be. Okay. Working. Put. Has the new safety officer been trained by the police? Has the new safety officer office? Safety officer. Officer. But we have to. Being. The number two. Train. Yeah. Uh huh. We have to change for. I don't know. Quinta vez. Four. Four times. Four times. The number two is we have been new air plugs. We have been. We have been. Give. Give. We have been. Give. We give. Have been gay, gave. <laughs> Give. I, I think hemos, give. Hemos regalado o, o give he dado, dar. Dar. Nosotros hemos dado. We have, we have been. We have been give. New give. Offer. Gave, gave. Is gave. Give it. Given, given. De. De. Give no, it. with N, with Even. N al final. No, Even. with D. Ah? With D. With, with N to yeah. the N, given. I, I think it's with N at the, at the end. Uh-huh. Given. Given. Uh, yeah, given. Okay, and the number six. This is number two we're given. Number six is have, have we. Is a question. It's a question too. Yes. Have we this is the the verb that we can use have we issue sounds issue. where where have, have been have been we have uh, been I think have have we been I see 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 sorry have we been Be. have we been issue issue helmets helmetless yes. cast yes the new helmet emitido sounds weird <laughs> Yes, let me check if there are other meaning of issues. We have been, we have been issued. Um, the number four. The new still to have been issued. The new. New steals to boost have been have, have been 
Made. Made, okay. Made. Made. Of. Okay, all right. I've given you, I think, a lot of time for you guys to check the answers. So we're going to do this together. We're going to actually, yeah, and then we're literally going to do this together. So three new safety measures. You can open up your microphone and help me out. Has been created. Created. Has been created. Do you guys agree? Yes, teacher. Everybody? I agree. Yeah? Hola. Mm -hmm. right, everybody agrees? Yes? Yes. Mm. It mm -hmm. should be. Here. Train. Has been. Issued <laughs> has been made, has been training teacher. Safety measures, three new safety measures. Mm -hmm. Tres nuevas medidas de seguridad has been made, has been issued. Issued. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, definitely it should. Oh. Okay. Okay. It should. Okay. Any anything else? Anything else we have to change? Uh Teacher, uh -huh. train has been trained. No, train, no. train is entrenado. No puedo. Formado. No, no es lo mismo. No, entrenar. Entrenar es el único concepto. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Yes. So, anything else we need to change? Okay, three new safety measures. Three, not one, three. So, three new safety measures. Have. Have been. Have, not has. This is three. Okay. Next, number two, we have been how has been
Sorry? Uh, we have, have been. We have been. Mad. Made. No. No. Oh. Given. 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 Oh. Actually, you know what? Given. Sorry, I'm going to change this again. It was correct the first time created. Sorry, guys. OK, next. The new safety goggles are nice. They have been innovated. Have been. Have been. Been innovating. Innovated. Innovated. Innovating. Yes, they have been innovated. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, good. Next. The new steel boots made of has been made. Has been. Has 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 been. Has, have, 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 because it's boots, plural. The new steel boots. Have been. Steel boots, okay. So have been. Made of genuine okay. leather. Of genuine leather. Leather. Good. Leather. Number five. Has the new safety officer. Good. Been trained by the police. Okay. Okay. Or just been trained. Been trained. Yes. As a new safety mm. officer, been trained. And the last one. Have Very good. Have we? Been chosen. Been the new home. Have been issued. The new home. Uh, the new helmets. We've been issued the new helmets. Have we been issued the new helmets? Okay, there you go. Uh, question. Teacher, one question. Yes. Then the meaning the meaning of issued in that context is is a given. Actually, this these two are are interchangeable. I can say, have we been issued new plugs? Or have, I, have we been given new plugs? This one also. Have we been issued new elements or have, have we been given new helmets? The two are possible. Okay. 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 All right. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's do this exercise. We're going to break our room with a classmate, read the following paragraph, and underline the passive voice sentence. This should be super easy. I'm going to give you about three minutes to do this, okay? This shouldn't be difficult. You just have to identify, just underline the paragraphs that have the passive voice. That's it. Okay. And to make it simple, I'm going to return you to the same groups. Okay. So all you got to do is identify it. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah.
Omar. Omar, you having problems? Omar? By the book. Yes. R four. Follow the rules. Uh -huh. uh -huh. In the all the the uh -huh. in we have four sentence with passive voice. Yeah. Yeah. And the first one, many tools have been left disorgan disorganized. Is organized. Mm -hmm. Hasta ahí, um, no, all over some working areas. Okay. Entonces son cuatro. Yeah. Then, what is ¿Cómo? Them. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significan? ¿El qué? El, the second sentence. It seems like the safety. The word them. Ahorita lo estoy bien. Uh, it seems like the safety manager has not been. Significa como parece que el manager no ha sido informado sobre las nuevas medidas. Ah, ok. O, ajá, sí. como parece, parece ser algo así. Algo así lo entiendo. Okay. All right, we're going to check. All right, so tell me the first one. Which is the passive voice. Many tools have been left disorganized. 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 Yes. disorganized. Okay, very good. Have been left. Has not, has, has not been informed. Okay, very good. Has not been informed. Yes. Has not been informed. Good. Next. Number three. Has been interested. Has been interested. Good. Number five. Number four. Okay. Has been okay. taught. Have been taught. There you go. Any problems? Okay. Yes. It's clear? It's clear. Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay. All right. So um, I am going to ask you to work in the um, this weekend on the platform so that uh, you don't have to do so much next week. Okay. All right, that's going to be your homework to finish off lo mucho que se pueda con la unidad cuatro y el final, okay? Ahorita solo voy a tomar nuevamente la, la, 
Excellent. Okay. Um, Okay, Cristina, present teacher, Annie, present teacher, Mari, present, Carolina, eh, Jorge, present teacher, Karen, oh, no, sorry, Christy, present, okay, good, Christy, Christy. Karina. Present. Leonardo. Leonardo. Linda. Present, teacher. Eh, Marlene. Present. Present. Nelson G. Present. Nelson A. Present, teacher. Norma. Present, teacher. Olga. <laughs> Present. Olga. Present. Present. Okay. Uh, Suleima Rodriguez. Present. Omar. Present. Suleima Melgar. And Tatiana. Present. Okay, very good. Si hay alguien que se quiera quedar hasta alguna preguntita de la de uh, los ejercicios en la plataforma con gusto yo le ayudo si no, no we'll see each other on Monday have a wonderful weekend enjoy your weekend recharge batteries ok ok thank All you right. thank you bye bye happy weekend bye. 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 you too